Singapore's pretty past, enjoy our vibrant present, and even take a glimpse into our exciting future. This river represents the heart and soul of our young nation. In fact, Singapore's fortunes began at this very river a long time ago, and have continued to flow from it ever since. Now, if you've got your eyes trained, your ears peeled, and your cameras ready, let's get started. We're now traveling into the very heart of our island city, so sit back and enjoy Singapore's fascinating story. To your right used to be the site of Riverside Village, a plague-infested squatter's colony which housed the seedy underbelly of opium dens, brothels, and secret societies. Addicts, ladies of the night, and gangsters jostled for space in this once dangerous, mysterious place. But today, the building Riverside Point sits on the historical foundations of that notorious village. No longer dangerous and seedy, but a delightful waterfront dining oasis that boasts its very own microbrewery. Perhaps you'd like to return by foot to explore all these fun possibilities. Did you know that the 
paths along the Singapore River make up one continuous looping promenade that connects everything you see along the riverbanks? Take a leisurely stroll and soak in the atmosphere along the six-kilometer promenade that flanks both sides of the river. As you take in the sights and sounds, you'll be comfortably shaded by lush greenery and definitely tempted by the many shops and cafes along the way. Look across the river and up to your left. See the lush green hill and the large tower overlooking Clark Key and the river? That is Fort Canning Hill, where Raffles built his own bungalow, Singapore's first government house. He also planted a spice garden, Singapore's first experimental botanic garden, to cultivate commercially imported spices. The hill was later used by the British as an arms store, barracks, and hospital, which probably led to its final name, Fort Canning. But way before the British arrived on our shores, Fort Canning was the place where ancient Malayan royalty once lived and were laid to rest. It was considered so sacred that it was known as Forbidden Hill. Forbidden because commoners were not allowed to visit. Of course, all that has changed, and now you're most welcome to visit Fort Canning to see the old British underground bunkers, and if you're really brave-hearted, explore the ancient grey stones that still remain on its shady slopes. Now here's a building that just begs